Hi guys, good day. It's me, Teacher MJ. Our topic for today class, it's all about the perfect square trinomial. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So we are told to determine a number that must be added in these following equations to make this a perfect square trinomial. And to do that one class is we do have a formula. And the formula, there would be b divided by 2, quantity squared. So our b class is beside x, the linear term. We will know that this is the linear term if the highest exponent of x is just 1. So this is what we call the linear term. And our b is beside this x. So our b, simply substitute the value of b, which is 6. 6 divided by 2, quantity squared. So 6 divided by 2, that is 3. Then quantity squared. So once again, class 3 squared, it means you multiply 3 by itself twice. So this is 3 times 3. And 3 times 3, that is 9. Therefore, the number here to make this a perfect square trinomial is 9. Easy, right? So by just doing the formula, you will get this number. Let's try number 2. B divided by 2, quantity squared. So our B is beside X, that's negative 10. Divided by 2, squared. So negative 10 divided by 2, that's negative 5. Once again, negative divided by positive is negative. Okay, so negative 5, then squared. So negative 5 squared plus, once again, do not be confused. It means negative 5 times negative 5. You multiply this equation, this number, by itself twice. So negative 5 times negative 5, that's positive 25. So therefore, the next number is positive 25. Easy, right? For the perfect square trinomial. Alright, let's try number 3. So what if, sir, we cannot divide it by 2? Example number 3. So, b is 7 divided by 2, quantity squared. So our b class is 7 beside x. Now check, can we divide 7 by 2? Nope. We cannot divide 7 by 2 because we will get a decimal answer. We can divide less but we will get a decimal answer. So, and we're not allowed to have a decimal answer. So, the thing that we will do, just simply distribute 2 from 7. So, this will be 7 squared. Then, you also distribute this 2 to 2. This will be 2 squared. Alright, so, you can distribute this 1 since we cannot divide. So, this will be 7 squared. It means 7 times 7. That's 49. Then, 2 squared. It means 2 times 2 over 4. 49 over 4. 2 times 2 is 4. Or you can just simply simplify class. So 7 squared, it means 7 times 7, that's 49. Then 2 times 2 is 4. If you cannot divide, you can do it this way. Easy, right? So 7 times 7 is 49. 2 times 2 is 4. So the answer is 49 over 4. 49 over 4. Alright, let's try number 4. So this will be B is negative 15 divided by 2 quantity squared. So negative 15 divided by 2. Can we divide? Nope. We will get a decimal answer. So simply distribute class. So negative 15 squared, it means negative 15 times negative 15. Of course, your answer will be positive because negative times negative is positive. So let me multiply 15 times 15. So 5 times 5 is 25. 5 carry 2. 5 times 1 is 5 plus 2 is 7. 1 times 5 is 5, 1 times 1 is 1. And then add, so bring down 5, 5 plus 7 is 12, 2 carry 1, 1 plus 1 is 2, 225. Okay, so this will be 225. Okay, I hope you see this one, that's 225. Alright, so negative 15 divided by 2, we cannot divide, so get the square of 15. So negative 15 times negative 15, that's 225. Then 2 times 2, that is 4. That's the answer, class. 225 over 4. Check, class, if we can reduce the fraction. If we can reduce, you need to reduce, class. But since we cannot reduce this one, this will, this will be our final answer. Alright, so let's try number 5. Sir, what if the given x or the value b is a fraction? This will, this will be the thing that you will do, class. So this will be b is negative 2 over 3, substitute. Negative 2 over 3 divided by 2. So negative 2 over 3 divided by 2, then squared. So you simplify this one first. This will be negative 2 over 3. 
we just write it here. Negative 2 over 3 divided by 2. So this is just the same class. Let me simplify first inside the parentheses before though, before solving with the exponent. Okay, simplify first inside the parentheses. Always follow PEMDAS class. Parentheses, then exponent. So simplify inside first. This parentheses. Alright, so negative 2 over 3 divided by 2. So once again, this whole number 2 understood that there is a denominator of 1. So negative 2 over 3 divided by 2 over 1. Now, when you're dividing fraction class, always remember this one, that you need to get the reciprocal of the divisor, and then you proceed to multiplication. Okay, once again, when you, when you are dividing fractions, you always get the reciprocal of the divisor, and then you proceed to multiplication. So this will be negative 2 over 3, then proceed to multiplication, get the reciprocal of this one, this, this one will be your numerator, and this 2 will be your denominator. So this will be... 1 over 2. Okay, once again, dividing fractions, you get the reciprocal of the divisor and then proceed to multiplication. So multiply, negative 2 times 1, that's negative 2. 3 times 2, that's positive 6. Okay, negative 2 times 1, negative 2. 3 times 2 is positive 6. So this will be the answer class inside this parenthesis. Negative 2 over 6. Then squared. Alright, so negative 2 squared, it means negative 2 times negative 2. So negative 2 times negative 2, that's positive 4. And then 6 squared, it means 6 times 6. That would be 36. Now check class, can we reduce? Always, always remember this one class. In fraction, it is mandatory that you always reduce the fraction to the lowest term if you can reduce. So check class, can we reduce 4 and 36? Yep, we can reduce it this one by 4. We can divide 4 by 4. And we can also divide 36 by 4. So 4 divided by 4, that's 1. 36 divided by 4, that is 9. So our final answer is 1 over 9. Alright, so 1 over 9. Once again, class, in fraction, you always reduce the fraction to the lowest term. That's mandatory. So once again, we cannot divide 4 by 36 directly because we get a decimal answer the thing that we will do is we find the GCF the greatest common factor and the greatest common factor of 4 and 36 that would be 4 so 4 divided by 4 is 1 36 divided by 4 is 9 so our final answer class is 1 over 9 that's it for number 5 alright let's try number 6 class for you to really understand if the given is fraction Let's try number 6. Then you try number 7 class and you put your answer in the comment section down below. Let's check if you really understand the topic. So our B is 3 over 4. Okay, 3 over 4, then divide 2 from the formula. Okay. So B is beside x, 3 over 4, then divide 2. This is the formula. Then square. So once again, simplify this one. This will be 3 over 4 divided by 2. Then understood that 2 here as a denominator of 1. So once again, when you divide fractions, you get the reciprocal of this one, then proceed to multiplication. This will be 3 over 4, then proceed to multiplication times, then you get the reciprocal. This one will be the numerator. This 2 will be the denominator. Times, okay, times 1 over 2. Alright, and then you multiply, 3 times 1 is 3, 4 times 2 is 8. Alright, so 3 over 8. Then you get the squared class. Once again, we just simplify this one first. So 3 over 4 divided by 2. So 3 over 4 divided by 2. Understood that the whole number 2 has a denominator of 1. So 3 over 4, then proceed to multiplication. 3 over 4 times... Get reciprocal. This is 2 over 1. It will be 1 half. So 3 times 1. In the multiplication of fractions class, multiply the numerator and then multiply the denominator. So 3 times 1 is 3. 4 times 2 is 8. So 3 over 8. Then simplify this one class. 3 squared. It means you multiply 3 by itself twice. 3 times 3 is 9. Then 8 squared. It means 8 times 8. That is 64. That's it class. So check. Can we reduce... The fraction, 
um, nope, we cannot reduce this one. We can divide 9 by 3, but we cannot divide 64 by 3. So this is our final answer. 9 over 64. Alright, so that's it class. That's how you complete this equation to be a perfect square trinomial. So you try number 7 class and you put your answer in the comment section down below. Let's check if you really understand the topic. Once again, if you like this video, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. You share it to your friends and to your classmates so that we can help more students. Once again, this is Teacher MJ. Bye-bye!